There are many big issues going on in the world right now, many of them impacting us here at home in Connecticut. Senator Chris Murphy joins us live in the studio this morning to discuss some of them. Thank you so much for getting yeah. up early to Thanks talk to us. Thanks for having me. I got a five-year-old and a two-year-old, so I'm up so early every morning. Sour, right? You know what it's exactly. like, no right. doubt about that. Let's start with Iraq. Obviously, this is a situation that continues to develop, and where it's going is, is a tricky thing. We hear the president now sending some troops, not for combat, right. but to try to help out in the situation there. Is that the right move at this point? Do we need to do more? Well, listen, this is a very quickly moving situation. It's incredibly dangerous, the idea that you could have a regional proxy war between the Shia and the Sunni in Iraq. Um, I think the president's right to have a limited insertion of expertise, but I don't think anybody in Connecticut supports putting ground troops back on the ground. I'm going to have a town hall meeting tonight in West Hartford at 630 at the West Hartford town hall to listen to my constituents. But we got to be very careful here to get in the middle of of what is a very complicated sectarian battle between groups that have been fighting for hundreds and hundreds of years. And Secretary of State John Kerry is about to speak on this very issue. What do you think he's going to be saying to the Iraqi government? Well, the reality is is that our support for the Iraqi government should be time limited because they've ultimately got to do the work themselves. There's no military solution here. There's a political solution in which the Shia leadership reaches out with some accommodation to the Sunni insurgency. That can't be done by us. That can't be done by military advisors. Kerry's got to make sure that the Iraqis themselves are doing that. Let's talk a little domestically and specifically about domestic violence. Saw both you and and Senator Blumenthal this past week talking about a case that was big news here in Connecticut, the Lori Galatly case, Lori Jackson, right. trying to close a loophole in the domestic violence bills when it comes to people who have protective orders getting weapons. It's really outrageous that you can have a temporary restraining order taken out against you because you abused your wife or your girlfriend and then you can go buy a gun. That, the law allows that. So we're trying to stop that uh, loophole from continuing to exist. We know we're not going to get big background checks legislation or a ban on assault weapons passed, but Senator Blumenthal and I are not going to rest until we move the ball forward on protecting people from gun violence and we're hoping that our colleagues will at least agree to protect the victims of domestic Violence. Well, it seems on the federal level you are protected if you have a permanent restraining right. order. So, But the temporary one is when you kind of need that protection the most because it's fresh, it's happening right then. That's when the fury is the worst, right? right? When the spouse has found out that you have taken out a protective order against them or a restraining order against them. That's the moment where you need the most protection. Right now the law gives the woman the least protection at that moment. I'm hoping that Republicans and Democrats at least are going to be able to agree on this. All right, uh, Senator Chris Murphy, we could talk for much longer. <laughs> Unfortunately, it's TV and, and our time I got it. is quite limited, but we do appreciate you stopping by this morning. I'll come back. Thanks, guys. Right, thank Thanks so much. much for being here. Appreciate it.